So many people want to know what is the best Shin Megami Tensei game to start with. I, majority, am going to tell you not which one to start with, but which one I started with. Uh, I am a big fan of the SMT series. If you do like this series, I highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. I've done uh, several SMT-related ones, a whole discussion on SMT4, which is actually the first game that I've ever uh, played in the SMT series, way before I played Persona. Uh, 4, 5, SMT 3 even, I played SMT 4 on the 3DS. Uh, I first got it with the console when I uh, had access to the eShop. They had some sale going for Fire Emblem Awakening and also for Shin Megami Tensei 4. And I remember digging like 10 minutes into this game, getting my ass whooped, and then saying, okay, I'm going to go play Fire Emblem now. And uh, so I, it was a little scarring, but uh, I came back to it like maybe two weeks later, and I got the hang of it. I understood the systems better. Coming off of Pokemon, like, I, I kind of got um, the the gist of, like, train your demons. I just wasn't used to a game that was so hardcore, so, like, you know, oh, you die, it's game over, you know, and you, I hope you save often, um, and that you're grinding a lot. This was a game where everything felt earned and reward and challenging without, like, me feeling like I had to go out of my way to find that. It was just there from the start. I think a lot of people will turn you off from playing a mainline Megami Tensei game uh, because they can be uh, brutal in a sense. I actually encourage playing Megami Tensei instead for this very reason uh, because it actually does make you consider to what extent uh, do you need to improve and get better. And I feel like a lot of it's in your hands. I was playing, uh, I was booted up my PC Steam library and I have Shadowgate. Um, this is a game I've owned for a long time, and I've, I've never felt equipped to, like, do well in it. And it was, I, it's almost a game of shame for me, because I, uh, how should I say, I was a beta tester for the game, and I could not get far into not enough into the game in order to give good feedback as a beta tester. And I, I've always thought to myself, like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I just, I feel like I'm failing myself by not playing it and being able to play it and feel like I'm doing well versus Megami Tensei I feel like I get better every time when I I go through it and I, I learn about different things that worked and didn't work and I can improve from there and it's all it's not in a real-time setting so you don't feel like you're never incapable it's just it challenges your mind in a different way of course you know you can be unlucky too luck is an aspect if you run into the wrong set of demons or if they get the first strike or if they use you know, insta-kill moves, and it just so happens that your main character, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. But if you're, you know, if you have resistances to those things, you can also kind of plan ahead. Sometimes it just involves the adventure and exploring the territory, and I absolutely love that. So, in thinking about the first Megami Tensei, I'd recommend, I, when I uh, partook in the video with the button mappers, uh, which is, I think, a good video, it's called Best Shin Megami Tensei Game for Newcomers. I will link that in the description, as well as the top right corner. Um, I said Nocturne was probably the best place uh, due to it being on console. But in hindsight, I actually think SMT4 might be better uh, simply because it, it is a better game. Nocturne isn't bad. I actually really like Nocturne for what it is, but I think SMT4 is a bit more like emblematic of what the series has to offer. And Apocalypse is also really good too. E either of those, I've seen people who say they started with Apocalypse. I, th I just think if you start with Apocalypse, it might be hard to go back to four uh in a narrative sense but i do think four is really good and, and and really will teach you about the machinations of the smt series but that's my first experience with shin Megami tensei what's yours do you have one if you don't where would you like to start let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you soon